So this is another model of the reproductive system, but it illustrates up close here uh, what happens when the sperm uh, approach this oocyte. So if you look at this uh, oocyte right here, it's got a structure that you require to know. It's that dark blue line pretty much represents something called the zona pellucida, and it is a, uh, um, a roadblock to sperm cells. That's why sperm cells bring with them uh, a little structure called the acrosome, which you can't really see here. I'll show you on this, the larger version here in a minute. But you can see one little sperm cell is making its way through right there. So that little, that sperm cell got there first, uh, and something occurred called the acrosomal reaction. Acrosomal reaction is caused by the sperm cell's structure called the acrosome, which d uh, dissolves the, the zona pellucida and allows the sperm to introduce its nucleus in here. So at this point, you're going to have an egg nucleus, and eventually you would have a sperm nucleus that arrive. Those are going to combine to form the diploid uh, zygote. But what happens, and you don't have to know this for lab, but I'll tell you, is something called the cortical reaction, which is going to sh basically prevent polyspermy by preventing the, uh, the uh, subsequent sperm from successfully digesting that zona pellucida. So let's move back here. I'm going to remove this. We're going to pan back to a sperm model. Good to go. All right, so this is, this is a process called spermiogenesis, not spermatogenesis. Spermiogenesis is after you've made these uh, immature spermatids is that they, they undergo further development. So this is kind of finishing the, you know, the, the, the work on the sperm cell. Uh, this process includes adding a tail and uh, you know finalizing the form of it. So this is basically representative of, of a mature sperm cell with a broken tail, sorry. And the structures that you're required to know for this are the head, which is this whole region, the acrosome, which is the enzymatic uh, shell around the, the tip of the head of this sperm cell. There is a structure, well, the nucleus is going to be housed within here, so the nucleus is within the head. This structure from, from here to the head is called the midpiece. That's a pretty convenient name. And there are mitochondria in there represented by these blue structures. With this extension after here, technically you'd call it a flagellum rather than a uh, tail, so that is a flagellum. And that's it.